Hello, and welcome to the Video Game Valley. It's a beautiful day today, a perfect... Let me check, let me check the thermometer real quick, one second. A perfect 72 degrees. <laughs> a lovely temperature for a lovely day. We're playing Barbie Groom and Glam Pups. I think that's what it's called. Bar Barbie Gro Groom and Glam Pups. That's <laughs> All I know is it's got dogs in it. It's got some dogs. Uh, it's got... If James is here, James, James had sent me like 50 bucks <laughs> at some point for Barbie stuff. And this is this is the final game that I, that I purchased with that money. So thank you, thank you James again <laughs> for, that, for, that mun, for that mun. We only got Wii Barbie games left. We played every other Barbie game that's ever been released on every... <laughs> any console we've played we've played them all except for the ones that are available on the Wii so we're, we're going through the Wii ones now Barbie groom and glam pups <laughs> I'm very excited uh, uh, Barbie jet set and style wasn't super good so I'm hoping that this puppy based styling game is a little bit better that's what I'm hoping. I don't know if it's going to be, but we'll see. Uh, Jet Set and Style was definitely on the the bottom half of the Barbie game pile that we've <laughs> we've gone through. Uh, I I hope this one's on the top. I really hope so. If this is a good game, I'm gonna be so happy. This is gonna be. <laughs> if this is good, let me just tell you, this is gonna be the Thursday game from now on. We'll be playing this every Thursday. If it's not good, we're we're moving on to. Uh, I think I think there's Barbie Puppy Rescue. That's another that's another one we got to go through. So there's more Barbie dog related games. How are you all doing today? How is how is everyone? My name is James, and it always makes me feel weird whenever Jason says James. Hello, James. James. <laughs> J James, look out, James. James, behind you. Oh, God. James, no. <laughs> no, oh, God, James. Oh, uh, no, dang. Dang, James, watch out. Uh, I know you looked, but you didn't see it. You didn't see it. It, it, it ducked behind something real quick. <laughs> J James, oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, God, James. I wish you could see the terrible thing lurking in the room, James. <laughs> Uh, it's okay, James. It, it's gone now. It's gone now. I'm not gonna tell you what it was because it's too spooky. It's too spooky, James. Oh, I have some uh, some valley news. I got uh, we now have. Oh, hey, I got my little, <laughs> I got the little wee hand. <laughs> cool. We got uh, we got two new platforms that uh, we're gonna be streaming games on. Uh, two new platforms. Uh, the Sega CD and the Sega 32X. So get get ready for some some Sega CD and Sega 32X games at some point. <laughs> uh, I'm excited about the Sega CD because there's a plethora of terrible FMV games on the Sega CD, which we're gonna play a bunch of those. A bunch of real bad FMV games. That's coming up. <laughs> And then the, uh, the 32X, I don't know, just holding 32X cartridges, even though, even though 32X is kind of, kind of terrible, <laughs> even though 32X is kind of terrible, when I hold the cartridge, the magic of it totally works, and I'm like, oh my god, the power contained within this cartridge. <laughs> For those of you who are not aware, the, the Sega CD and the Sega 32X were add-ons to the Sega Genesis to try to to try to give the Sega Genesis some more power. Uh, the CD has like video and CD quality audio capabilities for Sega Genesis games. And then the 32X, the 32X is like, it's like, oh, it's 32 bits before 32 bit systems came out. So it was like, oh man, the, the, the power of this system the Sega Genesis is now a next-gen system with this 32X on, but in reality, it's like, I don't know, it's like 10% better than Genesis. 
in some cases it's like way worse than Super Nintendo. Like I've seen some comparisons for games that came out on both the Super Nintendo and the 32X. The Super Nintendo version is very clearly better, even though the 32X is supposed to be like this this next gen 32 <laughs> 32-bit system. But still, when I hold the cartridges, when I hold the cartridges in my hand, when I when I hold Doom 32X in my hand. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, the power contained on this thing. It's just, it's too, it's too intense. It's too intense. What about uh, CD32X? Yeah, I don't have any of those yet. There were games that required both the Sega CD and the 32X, so you'd have to have both of the, <laughs> both of the add-ons, such as Night Trap. Na you know Night Trap? Night Trap required you had both the Sega CD and the 32X in order to get all that that cool night trap power, I guess. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you've ever seen Night Trap, you know it's a very te technically demanding game. I don't have Night Trap. Night Trap is one of the expensive ones, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, but I'm sure I'll get it at some point. Either, either I'll eventually get the money to buy it, or Someone will send it to me. At some point, we'll play, we'll play Night Trap. Lansy, thank you for the $2. Just got my new desk. It has drawers. I'm excited. That is exciting. What are you going to put in the drawers, Lansy? You got to have at least one key in there. One secret key. I always like finding keys in drawers, you know? When I moved in to this place, uh, they, they left like a whole bunch of keys in a box in a drawer somewhere. I have no idea what they unlock, but I have a bunch of keys to stuff. <laughs> who knows? Who knows what these keys could possibly be used for? But they're keys. They're mysterious keys. <laughs> uh, off to a very good start so far. You hear, you hear that bark? Let's get, let's get that bark again. <laughs> oh, perfect. Very, very good. <laughs> All right. All right, let's start this thing. Start this, this good game. I do not have the strap. As usual. No no straps here. I'm just gonna just gonna take my chances. Helen loves cats, thank you for the two dollars. Use this as the seed to your night trap savings. <laughs> thank you. I think I think that I is like I don't know. I don't know how much it was on eBay. It was too much. <laughs> it, was, it was too many dollars. I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Night Trap. Sega. CD32X. Yeah, it's going for like... A hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, it's got, it's got, it seems to be going for a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. Can you emulate it instead? No, I don't do any emulation on this stream. It's all, it's all physical consoles. Playing, playing the real deal. Can we take a minute to talk about these jams? Yeah, this is, this is... <laughs> I like I like the jams being played here. I like this big arrow they've given me. They give me control over this huge arrow. <laughs> oh, very good arrow. Night Trap is on PS4. Yeah, I don't I don't stream uh, PS4 stuff. If you look in the description, there's like a uh, uh, a list of the consoles that I do stream on. Hi, it's me, Barbie. Hey, Barbie. I hear you 
want to train and take care of your very own dog. I do, I do want to do that, yes. <laughs> First, I'll help you choose a pup. Next, I'll show you how to groom it, dress it up, and enter it in performance. Okay, everything about that except for the performances sounds good. I don't, I, that sounds very stressful for the dog. <laughs> but sure, yeah, let's try, let's try it out. Okay, I guess there's no music during loading. It requires all the processing to load this. Night Trap Sega CDSE C one for 125. Does it have to be 32x? There's no. I guarantee you, there is no Night Trap for a dollar 25. I think. <laughs> I think perhaps, perhaps you're looking, you're looking at an auction that's uh, not over yet. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't have any bids. <laughs> I don't want this. Uh, I mean, this is an okay dog. Pomeranian. Yeah, yeah, look at this dog. Avi, thank you for the $2. Legit. I want a Barbie DJ at my next party. Yes. Yeah, yes, Barbie DJ. <laughs> Bar Barbie DJ. Yeah, we're definitely going with the palm. We only have two choices, which seems like a mistake. It seems like a huge mistake to only have two options at the beginning. That's not enough dogs. <laughs> if you got this game, you're, you're looking forward to all the dogs, right? There's only two of them here. I mean, they're two very good dogs. I really want to walk into Jason's house and see the shelf where he keeps all his Barbie games. They're on like many shelves. Cause I got Barbie games from most systems, so they're all they're kind of all over the place. There's not there's not like there's not like one big pink shelf. What are you what are you sniffing? Are you okay? This is kind of a weird looking dog. I gotta be honest. <laughs> there's something about the way they've modeled this dog that's just a little weird. That's okay. It's still a good dog. Pomeranian. How do you spell pomegranate? <laughs> I, just, I just realized I was gonna name it. I was gonna name this beautiful dog Pomegranate. I don't know how to spell it. One sec. Pomegranate. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I got it now. Pom. E G R A N A T E Perfect. Very good. <laughs> Pomegranate. Beautiful dog. Beautiful weird dog. The key to your pup's success is to keep it both clean and happy. Yes, that sounds that sounds about right. Aaron, thank you for the five Canadian. Add this to the Night Trap Fund. Also, I think Dog Island spoiled you for dog selection options. God, there's so many dogs in that game. <laughs> so many dogs. I remember going over that dog list on stream, and it was just like, no, it just, it took half the stream going through all the great dogs there. <laughs> Corey Himes Double Switch Sega CD is the title for an auction on eBay. Yeah, I got that for uh, I got that for Sega Saturn. I have Double Switch Corey Himes <laughs> Double Switch for Sega Saturn. We have in fact played that on stream. Very good. <laughs> if you groom your dog regularly, it'll be quite happy and perform well when the time comes to do an event. Okay, cool. Just select the grooming button, and let's give it a try. The other half of the stream is Jason complimenting the dogs. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's, let's groom this dog. This is the grooming what are you wearing, Barbie? <laughs> quick clean. Grooming will also increase your dog's happiness. Okay. Grooming includes activities such as brushing, fur trimming, and washing. Mm-hmm. 
I'm not. I, I don't really 100% know what I think about First, this outfit. You need to brush I'm your not. <laughs> Follow the indicators to carefully brush your pup. Okay. It's kind of like. It fe it feels like farm chic, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's that's kind of what it. It feels like Barbie farm chic. It seems a little out of place, but it's not. It's not that it's super bad. I don't know. All right. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good, honestly. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Get get these good, these good brushes going. Uh, okay. I don't know if I did a good job or a bad job. A great job, apparently. Great, wonderful. Man, these loadings are really just. <laughs> Distracting. If I could just keep the music playing. Okay. Let's check out this boutique. Alright, let's go to this boutique. You and your dog will have a blast trying on cute canine clothes and accessories. Wonderful. The boutique. The boutique. <laughs> it's loading, loading up this boutique. Man, there's a lot of boutique to load, huh? <laughs> A whole lot of boutique here. Let's dress up your dog. Yeah. You have lots of adorable stuff to choose from. Let's do, let's do it. Okay, we got two hundred dollars. That seems like it should buy a lot of dog clothes. It seems like two hundred dollars should buy a pretty good amount of dog clothing. Uh, let's check out the hats for, first, I guess. Oh, these are the hats. We already got the heads. $150 for earmuffs. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. I forgot this is a boutique. This is, uh, yeah. <laughs> Everything is 150 bucks except for this. This one's... This one looks like... Like something like a little kid would wear, so I guess it's good for a dog. Man. Can't get over these prices, though. The different collars. Different collars. I like the little, uh, bow tie there. Why can't I get these? Are these ones we already own? Is that, is that it? I don't know, I don't understand this. <laughs> oh yeah, this is ones we already own, okay. Can I twirl this dog around? No, apparently, apparently I cannot, in fact, twirl this dog around, because I cannot see this collar at all, so, alright. We'll just, we'll just stick with this collar for now. Sunglasses. I mean, that's pretty good. Are these beer goggles? Wait a minute. Okay, no, they're not. <laughs> I, thought, I thought this was, like, beer stein glasses. Oh, man, that's super cool right there. That's super cool. This is this is also very good though. <laughs> this is all, dog doesn't seem to like it, but you know. By the time I can can I try it on the dog first? Okay, should we go for important choice right here? Should we go for like for Devo? Kind of kind of kind of. Electric style or Hollywood, Ho Holly LA, Hollywood. <laughs> I'm not sure, but all of our future choices will be based on this. Okay, we're going for Devo. 
Yep. <laughs> These are the different colors. Man, it's not. It's no, like, extreme. I mean, I guess this one, probably, but this is a hundred bucks. Let's see what other options we have. Yeah, that's pretty cute, <laughs> pretty cute I guess. <laughs> sure. Is that a bird? Yeah, I guess that's a bird. $350 for this shirt. <laughs> Can you imagine buying a $350 dog shirt? That's <laughs> Barbie. Barbie, I got some questions about your life. <laughs> Barbie, I got I got a lot of questions about your life here. Okay. <laughs> What is this? What is this? Wait, wait a minute. Are these? <laughs> what are these? I don't understand. What is this? A little ladybug? All right. Five hundred fifty bucks. Gosh. Check out all these accessories just for tails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's all. There's three of them. And here's all the cute clothing. Okay, okay, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I don't, <laughs> I don't <laughs> Why? 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 <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we're going with this. I guess this is what we're going with. I guess. <laughs> sure, why, why not? Alright. Oh god. <laughs> I cannot believe that this is an option here. Why? <laughs> you just made Elton John. Yeah, we have. We have actually we we have just made Elton John. You're right. It <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go with this. Yes, I'm I'm not sure, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> wow, sure. Your pup is so cute. Uh -huh. It's almost ready for the big Almost. Time. Later on, you'll earn all kinds of new items and accessories for your pup. As you earn prize money, you can even buy We can create an even more powerful Elton John. Before we try out an event though, you might want to start ba -ba 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 training your dog. That's an Elton John song. At first, your dog only knows the basics of a few tricks. In order to perform well, we'll need to train it for each trick. Okay. As you train a trick, your pup's experience in it will increase. Yeah. The more experience you have in a trick, the more rewarding it is in a performance. Great. Got it. Select the training button and let's give it a go. The training room. The training room. Oh my god, there's the dog. <laughs> the training room. <laughs> what is <laughs> yeah, this the dog? Room. This dog, I love the way this dog is from walking around. The training room. The training room. The training room. Hey, hey, little pomegranate, are you ready to go to the training room? Here we go. Welcome to the training room. <laughs> Let's teach your dog a new trick. Okay. Pick the trick you want to teach your dog. All right, let's see what cool tricks we got here. Actions, poses, skills. Skills? <laughs> this would be like masonry and stuff. <laughs> get, uh, get, get the dog an internship somewhere. Kiss. Beg. All right, let's do kiss. <laughs> let's do kiss first. Wrong trainer move, your dog might get confused. Okay. Be sure to reward your dog while it learns each trick. To turn learning points into tricks that stick, try giving your dog a treat. Kiss. Kiss. 
awesome. Whoa, look at that star, cool. Uh give treat. What okay, cool. <laughs> Dog didn't really seem to react at all. Just just kinda let the treat phase into their mouth. <laughs> There, here's, here's another treat. Oh man, we're leveling up this kiss like, 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 like banana. It's going up, it's going up, let's do it. Let's get, let's get this kiss all the way. Amazing. <laughs> we're gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna level up all the way. Terrific. <laughs> yeah. Kiss. Amazing. Very. I'm telling you, we're gonna get, we're gonna get this kiss all the way up. Leona, thank you for the $4.99. Happy International Day of Tacos. Is it uh, International Day of Tacos? That's pretty cool. I haven't had tacos in a while. I love tacos. I, I rarely eat tacos, though. It makes me very sad. <laughs> how many, how few tacos I eat. Don't eat her. Don't overfeed her. Too many treats is bad for her health. She's a magic dog. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there's, there's no... There's no, uh... Kiss. There's no way this affects her health one way or the other. Oh my god, we, we got... Oh my god, complete! Yeah, look at this! Perfect! She's a perfect kisser now. <laughs> New trick. All right. Well, we 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 got kiss all the way up, so that's good. Does she even do anything when we when we do kiss? I don't remember her actually doing anything, but that's okay. Bow, sit, lay down. Uh, dance, jump. Definitely dance. Absolutely dance. I mean, that's a, that's okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's a great dance. Do you got any other dances? Dance. Fantastic. No, just that one. All right. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's pretty impressive because you're a dog, but I don't know. <laughs> I wish you had more than one dance. I just feel like either you should have more than one dance or the dancing should be a little bit better. Dance. I am criticizing the dance abilities of a dog, I realize that. <laughs> but it's a magic video game dog, you know? Avi, thank you for the $2. This is what dogs dream of on LSD. Lassie tripping. Can you imagine if when dogs, <laughs> and dogs getting high and then they're like, ah, I'm in Barbie's dream house now. Dance. Yep, <laughs> that's a thing all dogs know about. All dogs are aware of Barbie's dream house. <laughs> here, here we are. Dads. Amazing. 
I'm telling you, we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna get these dances all the way up. Oh, I'm checking chat. Apparently, there's spamming going on. <laughs> all right, hold on. I'm, get, I'm getting rid of the the spammers. One second. My apologies. <laughs> I just kind of wiggle the remote around, and it always it always ends up fantastic. Really, no matter what I do. <laughs> hey, we did it! All right, I guess that's good. We learned how to kiss and how to dance. Perfect. We're ready for dog prom. <laughs> Here we go. Great. As you start to participate in events, you'll earn new tricks to teach your pup. Every trick has a rating. The higher the rating, the stronger the trick will do in performances when fully trained. Okay. Each dog can even be trained in a special trick that only it can learn. You'll have to do a lot of performances to earn that trick, though. Okay. Speaking of performances, why don't we try one out? Oh, uh, no. Whenever you want to take your dog to a performance, just come talk to me. Okay. Performances. <laughs> performances. 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 So you, you just kind of hang out right there in that one spot, <laughs> Barbie. <laughs> I guess, I guess so. All right. Make sure your dog has some training and has been groomed recently. The happier your dog and the more training it has, the more prize money you can win. There are three types of performances: photo shoots, runway shows, and dance events. Well, I know which one we're going to. Let's start with runway uh, shows. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. Hi again. Ready to try a performance? Yeah, the sure. The training you have for each trick, the better your dog will perform. Be sure to keep training. I, I will. Don't Three worry about it. Three performances. Photo shoots, runway shows, and dance events. Select the one you'd like to try. Wait, you just said we have to go to... Okay, yeah. We gotta go to runway events. Here, here we go. We're lo we're loading it up, loading up this. Oh, this one the runway Let's events loaded runway very show. quickly. You have a few seconds to get your dog to perform the trick. Man, the dog sniffing is so, is so loud. Why is the dog sniffs so loud? Looks like the show is about to begin. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Lay down. Wow. You did it. Big. Super cute. Man, we haven't trained any of these. I'm really proud of you for knowing these just instinctually. Great. <laughs> Man, they are not clapping. Who's where's these where are these clap sound effects coming from? <laughs> these people are not these people are like phasing through the chairs. <laughs> those people! Those people, look at the people! Her whole body is like through the chair there! <laughs> this woman's body was through the chair as well. Everyone's body is phasing through chairs. God. My god. <laughs> oh, why? Why do they not spend a little bit more time in the background here? Why not just a tiny, tiny bit more time? <laughs> Oh, God. All right. Barbie's giving you a gift, huh? All right. Sweet! It's a training manual for a new trick. Oh. Oh, thanks. You, should, you shouldn't have. Phew. That was a lot to go over. But we did it. It looks like your pup is a bit worn out as well. Uh, yeah, Why probably. Take a quick break and check out the notebook. Okay. Select the notebook button. Notebook. 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 Ernesto, thank you for the 20 ARS. This looks like a David Lynch pink fever is dream. <laughs> notebook. There, there is definitely like a, a, a little bit of an unsettling 
like Yorkies, aspect to this game. Also belong to the toy group of dogs because they're so small. It's got some good, good music though. I gotta say. All right, we gotta get this happiness up. We gotta get. <laughs> How happy is your dog? How runway is your dog? How dance is your dog? How photo is your dog? I don't understand what this is. I don't understand what- <laughs> what is this for? Is this save? Is this to save? I don't understand. Alright. Pomegranate, let's... Let's, let's get back to it, I guess. That's pretty much everything for now. As you can see, there is a lot to do. Yep. Let me show you one more thing. <laughs> right this way, please. This is the dog select door. Well. If you want to play with a different pup, just select the dog select button. Kick the old dog out. <laughs> trick you unlock or buy will be available to any of your pups. However, each pup will have to be trained separately. Okay. Some pups will require more care in order to keep them happy. That makes sense. Once you progress as a trainer, I'll unlock more dogs for you to play with. Oh. Unlock? Where are they locked up? What, what have you done to the dogs, Barbie? Give it a go. Why don't you start out by grooming your pup again? After all that work, I bet it could use some nice pampering. Uh, sure. Here we go, Barbie. Boutique dog notebook. Dog select notebook. Dog select the boutique. Dog select the boutique. Grooming performance. The training room. Performance grooming. It's got. It's got. It's got a grooming. Let's do some groom, <laughs> some grooms. Let's get your doggy rinsed and ready for a shampoo. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh. Got, got, got the, got the wall scrubbed up. <laughs> now it's time for shampoo. Dogs don't use human shampoo. They have their own kind made especially for pups. Oh uh, yeah. Select the shampoo bottle to squirt some on your hand. Next, scrub all over the dog's coat. Be sure to cover your dog all over with shampoo. Uh, all right, yeah, let's do it. Uh. Oh, we got some sudsy hands now. Here we go. Here we go. I guess suds, suds it up this this big old pup. Get some more, some more of this shampoo. Sun, suns up this dog. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> Super! Look at all those bubbles. Next, let's wash off all that shampoo with the nozzle. The Be nozzle. Sure to rinse all the shampoo off your dog. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Amazing. Whoa! <laughs> that was a lot of water. Looks like your dog is ready to dry off. Use this towel to carefully pat your puppy dry. Okay, let's do some careful puppy pets. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh wow, look it's <laughs> Oh god! Oh god, okay. The dog is happier, apparently. Apparently the dog is happier, so I'm glad about that. Alright. <laughs> oh. Let's do some more grooming. Let's do some additional grooming. Why don't you scratch your dog behind the ears for being such a good pup? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh god, this this dog's face is just the weird disembodied hand. Just got thing from the Adams family, just <laughs> just just slightly touching this weird dog. <laughs> Oh, all right. 
All right, I think that's enough of that. Performances, the training room. Performances, the training room. Uh, I guess, I guess we'll go do some training. So this is better than Barbie Jet Set in style. Let's teach your Not by a whole training. lot, though. It's... <laughs> I think this game is both very good and also pro probably not... We're probably not going to keep playing this game after today. This is probably a one-stream a one stream game. I don't think this game necessarily has the depth to keep playing every Thursday. Tip the trick you want to teach your dog. Although I do kind of want to see all the weirdo dogs that this game has to offer. Oh, a shake. We, we learned a new skill. That's yeah, that's perfect. Queen of Hearts! Thank you for the one dollar. I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> I, will, Great. I will spend that one dollar on more additional games like this. What happens if I dunk that up? Does, does the tree just go like ricocheting around the room? <laughs> Great. I don't want to intentionally mess it up because then I'll feel bad about poor little dog not getting their little dog treat. Such a little effort goes into making the Barbie games. Some of them, some of them certainly, like, uh... I've, I've definitely played some low-effort Barbie games, but then there's, like... I don't know, there's the Detective Barbie series, which I thought was actually pretty good. And then, uh... Barbie Horse Adventures Riding Camp is still my favorite Barbie game. I think that one... <laughs> That one is of, as I have said, I, I had more fun playing Barbie Horse Adventures Riding Camp than I did playing Red Dead Redemption. So, <laughs> so th there you go. Shake. Way to go. I thought she was gonna say way too slow. I really thought Barbie was gonna burn me right there. How many Barbie games have you played? Uh, a whole bunch of them, certainly on stream. Uh, I have every Barbie game ever released for any console in, <laughs> in, in all of history. So, I don't have the, uh, the ones that were just PC. But for consoles, I have every single one. Oh no, oh no, oh no, your treat, oh no, oh no, I didn't get the, I didn't give you a little treat, oh god. Oh god. No, we gotta go back. We have to go back. I'm so sorry, dog. You did that trick and I didn't give you any treats. Welcome to the training room. Let's teach your dog a new trick. Pick the trick you want to teach your dog. All right, we got to we got a level shake. We got a level shake all the way up. You should check out the world record people about that. There's, <laughs> there's no way. Even if I even if I did meet a world record requirement for Barbie games, there's no way that they can, that any any record keeping company cares. I'm num num I'm num num. The dog refuses to learn unless they get their treat. Ah, we did it. Uh, I guess I guess that'll be that'll be good for now. We'll do another. Uh, Another performance. Oh yeah, we gotta do. Performance. We gotta do that one performance. Hi again. 
ready to try a performance? Yeah. Dance event. Yeah, because we're kind of... We, we learned the dance. We leveled up the dance all the way. Let's try a dance performance. You got it, Barbie. Pick the music you want your pup to groove to. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, yes. Track number one. Yeah, I like this track number two. Oh my god, the dog sniffing sounds. <laughs> it's so loud. God, stop. Whoa. Oh my god, we got the light and the dark here. Oh, absolutely going with this dark. This is so good. <laughs> Probably not this one. Uh, it's pick, it's picking up a little. Yeah, it's okay. We're definitely going with this one, though. Yeah. To make up a dance routine, pick a trick for each of the slots. Okay. Once you're done designing the routine, select the continue button. Any empty slots will automatically be filled with a random trick. Okay. I'd love to watch Jason play Hey You Pikachu. I do have that game. I do have that game in the in the, the sweet microphone. <laughs> I'm sure I will play that at some point. You'll earn extra money if you create the routine yourself. And even oh my more God, this, if the this sniffing you sounds. are performed well. <laughs> so loud why why was that your decision here for this the, the the volume level of the sniffing it's it's like it's right there right there in my ear <laughs> and full of fungus thank you for the two canadian please have two shark dollars from the past wow wow dang two shark dollars All right, let's look some tricks. We're really good at dance, so let's do dance. Shake. Kiss. Dance. Shake. Kiss. <laughs> dance, shake, kiss. Dance, shake, kiss. So, sounds good. Wow, that looks like a really cool routine. Thank you. <laughs> Sniff sounds. Here comes your Jesus doggy Christ. dancer. Let's watch the routine. Okay. Wow. Dance. Wow. Look at the, look at the dog. Oh, we got a coin. We got some coins. Pick up the coins. <laughs> Well, four hundred twenty dollars. <laughs> well, yeah, no, stop now. I mean, it's not getting any better than this. Ah, <laughs> oh, dang, you ruined it. You ruined it. Yeah, what a what a diva dog indeed. <laughs> It was pretty rocking. Good, good job, good job, dog. We got 270 bucks for that. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for a dog dancing around. <laughs> right back to the sniffs. All right, all right, sure. Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, we got a gift. Oh, cool. Thank you. Grooming. The training performance grooming. Do some grooming. Just get the dog back to being optimally happy, you know? Get some optimal happiness going on for this dog. First, you need to brush your dog's coat. Follow the indicators to carefully brush your pup.
perfect. Doing a real good job. Okay, we gotta go slow with these. <laughs> there were no hearts when I was just very roughly. <laughs> just, uh, just brushing this dog. Man, dog's real happy. Great job! <laughs> Perfect. Great. Alright, let's take this $630. Let's, let's, let's buy something. Let's go, let's go dog sh dog clothing shopping. This boutique is just in Barbie's house, so Barbie's making a lot of money off this scam. <laughs> Barbie's got a real a real hustle going on here. <laughs> you want to become a dog trainer? I've got everything you need here. <laughs> Learn all your training tips from me. Buy all your clothes from me. Your dog. You have lots of adorable stuff to choose from. Alright, uh, let's see. We've already got just the the world's best hat. These are the different collars. I kind of want to get the bow tie. Sure. <laughs> Does it doesn't really work, I guess. I guess it doesn't work. And here's all the cute clothing. <laughs> it's not it's not great. It's not it's not a great look, I don't think. It's, it's, not, it's not a very good look. This one's this one's pretty good. Look at this look right here. This one's pretty good. Just for tails. Definitely get that cool bow. And here's all the cute clothing. Here are all the glasses. These are the different colors. And here's all the cute clothing. <laughs> I love her line reading on that. Check out all these accessories. And here's all the cute clothing. And here's all the cute clothing. Yes. Very cute. Very clothing. Yeah, I guess, I guess this is okay. This doesn't seem like a really good outfit. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like, I, f I feel like there should be better options, but there really isn't. There really isn't better options, so I guess we'll just go with this. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'm sure. Here we go. <laughs> this looks terrible. This looks real bad. <laughs> this looks, this looks very bad, but that's, that's okay. Select notebook, the boutique, notebook, the boutique, dog select notebook, notebook. Let's check this cool notebook. I've got a, got a load for the notebook. Queen Victoria of England had a Pomeranian named Marco. Yeah, th that doesn't seem to be anything. This notebook. <laughs> I don't really know what this notebook's the for. Notebook. Note the boutique. Notebook. The training room. Performances. Grooming. Performances. Grooming. Performances. I guess we'll check out the photo mode. That's that's like the main thing Hi we again. haven't tried yet. Ready to try a performance? Sure. Let's take some good pics of this dog. Let's take some. <laughs> Let's take some good dog pics here. A photo shoot is a fab way to show off your dog. First, let's set up the studio. You get to pick a backdrop and a few props. Cool. Okay, well this one clashes the most, so we definitely gotta go <laughs> go with this one. Let's see. Whoa. 
Well, <laughs> yeah, I, I like those pillars. I think we're going with the pillars. Definitely this. Now let's get ready to snap some photos. You can take five photos and then the shoot is over. Okay. Try to snap your five photos at just the right time. Watch the camera lines so you'll know when it's the best time to take a great photo. All right. Press the two button to snap the photo and the plus control pad to adjust the camera. Wait, press the two, two button to snap the photo. The plus control pad to adjust, wait. All right, uh, <laughs> hold on, this is, <laughs> all right, sure. Uh, oh. Okay, sure. This is not as exciting as I was hoping it would be. I was hoping I could, like, really get this camera around, get some nice shots. Your dog is a superstar. But no. No, it's just the same, the same timing minigame. Hey, is that you, Barbie? Is that you? Who, who was that? These pictures are so glam. Is it? You're a fab photographer. <laughs> Pretty good, I guess. <laughs> I guess they're okay. They earned us two hundred ninety dollars somehow. Oh, we got a new gift. What could it be? Yay! It's a new grooming tool! Oh, uh, yeah? Grooming. I want to see this new grooming tool. <laughs> what, what, what new, what's the new grooming tool? Let's get your doggy rinsed and ready for a shampoo. Oh, this is not... This is not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted to see the new... The new grooming right. tool. Next, select the shampoo. Sud you up real quick. Get y'all, get y'all sudged real, super quick, <laughs> super quick. We have to go through all the grooms until we figure out what the new grooming tool is. Super. Next. Perfect. <laughs> done. Done. You're all, you're all clean. <laughs> Ready to dry off. Uh, perfectly happy. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we achieved peak dog happiness. The training room. Grooming. Go back to grooming. I imagine we just have to cycle through grooming stuff until we end up with a new one, right? I think that's how this is gonna work. I think your dog could use some tummy rubs just for being such a perfect pooch. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that hand. I don't like the way that hand is moving. I don't like <laughs> I don't like the hand is moving like this dog is being pet by like a wizard or something. <laughs> just like I don't know, just like an elven wizard. It's just, uh, yeah, I think I think I think we're probably we're probably done. I think that's that's it for uh, <laughs> I think that's it for Barbie groom groom pup Barbie Barbie pup glam pup groom. <laughs> Don't remember what the title of this game is. Do not recall. Room and Glam Pops, that's it. Well, Notebook. it's better than Jet Barbie uh, set jet ride. <laughs> fly, fly set jet style, whatever one that was. It's definitely above that. It's definitely that one. It's definitely better than that one. 
It's lower than a lot of the other Barbie games, but I was kind of expecting that. I didn't think this was going to be one of the one of the top ten. <laughs> but that, that's that's all right. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll be playing Eternal Darkness on the GameCube. Uh, if you if you want to see more Barbie, I will be playing more Barbie games uh, next Thursday. Thursday is Barbie Day until we're we're done with all the Barbie games ever made <laughs> for console. Uh, Saturday is Sega Saturn Day. We'll be playing. We we will be playing. <laughs> I will be playing uh, Blazing Dragons, I believe, on the Sega Saturn. If you got any questions, I'll answer a few questions before I go. This felt like having a dream about a Barbie game. That's a good way to describe it. It was definitely a bit like that. When I purchased this game, I, I bought this game at, at the used game store that's nearby, and... Uh, uh, I was I was buying it, and they were very concerned about the the state of the disc. They were like, "It looks like this disc got scratched at some point, and they buffed it out." So, uh, hopefully, it'll work. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't work, come back, and we'll we'll make sure to refund you. And I'm 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 like, man, man, this this is literally a dollar ninety nine. This one, <laughs> this one, this one's a dollar ninety nine. If this game, if this game doesn't work. You know, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll buy it on eBay. <laughs> I'm not gonna come back for a one ninety nine return. Now, if this was like, you know, one of the expensive Barbie games, I thought this was the fifty dollar game. Thank goodness. No, uh, there ended up not being that game. Actually, ended up not existing. Uh, and that's how I ended up with this game, because I discovered that there was a couple of Barbie games that I did not own, that I hadn't realized existed, because the Wikipedia entry for, <laughs> for Barbie games was incomplete. Uh, but the, ga the game that I thought was $50 was $50 because the game was never released and someone was, uh, was, selling, was selling a reproduction cartridge using a leaked ROM of the unfinished game. We did stream that. I did I did end up getting that uh a, that uh a reproduction cartridge, but a cheaper one that wasn't 50 bucks. How long have you been doing live streams? Uh I think this is like the 200 something. Th I do it every night. So, I guess I've been doing it for however many months 200 <laughs> 200 days is. Jason, you should update the Wikipedia article. The problem with the Wikipedia article, here's here's my concerns about the Wikipedia article for Barbie games, is the Wikipedia article that lists all the Barbie games, it, it lists, like, series instead of individual games, so it was kind of difficult to track down all the games because of that like for Detective Barbie there's a number of Detective Barbie games but it only lists Detective Barbie as like a general series so it took me a while to figure out that there was only one actually released on consoles it it took a, it took a lot of basically searching Barbie and then the system name and uh, and looking for each one that had been released on that system. Ernesto, thank you for the 50 ARS. I'm pretty sure this was just Twin Peaks reimagined for dogs. And we were on the Pink Lodge the whole time. <laughs> it's a good, good description. How is it possible that there's such a thing as used game stores here in Melbourne, Australia? The only option is chain pawn stores that give terrible prices and sell them at a massive markup. Um, I mean, there are definitely, like, used game stores that sell stuff at a too high a markup. But in general, like, I think because of eBay and the, 
and the large availability of, of these games. That's not really a problem here in the United States. There's just a lot of these games. Like, people will go, go to these game stores and kind of sell their whole collection at once, their whole used game collection at once. And then it gets resold to people like me. Most of these games are not very expensive. Like, a lot of these games are, like, $199, 299 some other 99 And then there's, there's, like... There's basically, like, three different tiers of prices for these games. Uh, there's, like, the super cheap ones. And then there's the ones that are, like, 20, 25 bucks. And then there's the ones that are, like... Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> it's like this is a strange jump that happens with used games, where it's like it's either super cheap because it's garbage and no one wants it, and it's like they they made thousands of 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 co like hundreds of thousands of copies of it, or it was like a game that st people still want, and so it's like twenty bucks. Or it's a game that was terrible, so no one bought it, and now it's seven hundred dollars. <laughs> it's good that most of the games that are like seven, eight hundred bucks are bad. It that's good. That's that's a good thing. <laughs> there are a couple of very good games that are like seven, eight hundred bucks now, but most of them honestly are not super good. Uh, prices also sort of depend on the knowledge of the people who work at the exchange shops. Yeah, uh, a lot of that is mitigated these days. Like, I know the, uh, the, all the used game stores around here, they all use, like, an online system to determine the prices. So, they, you know, they, they have a pretty good idea of what each, each game can sell for. I really wish I could see Jason play Action 52, but those carts are like $150 at least. I'm not familiar with Action 52. There's there's some games uh, on the Super Nintendo that I've purchased reproduction cartridges of, uh, just because they're good and rare. <laughs> uh... So, like, when I played Chrono Trigger on stream, that was using the reproduction cartridge. Because th those, those cartridges are very expensive. It's 52 games and one NES cartridge, and they're all bad. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, cool. I haven't gotten into a game store in like 10 years. Yeah, I, uh... I hadn't gotten into a game store in a long time until I, uh, started picking up... Picking up some, like, I think, I think just like a year, year and a half ago, I decided to start going to the one that was, that was local to hear just to see what they had and it turns out they had a lot of things there's a couple of systems that you don't see a lot of stuff sold at these stores like Sega Saturn my Saturn sports games available and that's about it Hello. Hello, welcome back. All my bits went away. I saw it. <laughs> I saw my bits shrinking away. All of my kilobits. My kilobits per second went from 3,600, and then I saw it go down to 3,200, and then I saw it go down to 2,000, and then down to 500, and then down to zero. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. Oh, dang. All my, all my bits. Dang. Dang, my bits, they're all gone. But they're back now. We're back to uh, 3,675 bits. 
<laughs> got got that many bits going. Which Barbie character is your favorite? Uh, probably the cat. There's a cat that showed up in a few games. <laughs> I forget what the cat's name is, but there was a cat. I I really like. Oh my god, what was her name? What was what was the Barbie character with the the switchblades? <laughs> I forget what I forget which Barbie friend that was. In that one game we played. I'm pretty sure she didn't have switchblades. It just kind of looked like she was doing some cool switchblade tricks. Do you remember what what Courtney? Yeah, Courtney. Courtney with her switchblades at school. <laughs> definitely, definitely switchblade Courtney is my favorite. Was it a white cat? Because that's Blissa. Yes, it was a white cat. So. I imagine it's it's Blissa. Did your parents buy you M-rated games as a child? Uh, no. I can't imagine my mom did. I'm trying to think of, like, the game The games I played as a kid. It was, like, I had Nintendo systems. I had an NES and then, eventually, a Super Nintendo. And there weren't like a lot of M rated <laughs> there weren't like a lot of M rated games that came out on Nintendo systems, so that wasn't that wasn't really a problem, was it? There wasn't even like I'm pretty sure at that point there wasn't even a rating system. I don't know when the uh the rating system started. And then eventually I got a, a Sega Saturn for myself. But most of those games I purchased myself, so... My dad bought me GTA 3, thinking all video games are for kids. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand, like... There's a couple of, of things that... I got away with as a kid because adults didn't understand technology. And now that I'm, like, w way into being an adult, I don't understand how I did get away with some of them. Because thinking back, thinking back, like, I remember I was in a, a web design class, and... <laughs> Alright, I was in a... W okay, I was in a web design class, and... Uh, uh, web design was super easy because I had already learned HTML and stuff and the whole class was like very basic HTML. <laughs> and so most of the time in class I, I, I loaded up GTA 2 on on the computer and then some of my friends also ended up loading up GTA 2 and uh, I had access to like the school network so I just put a copy of GTA 2 on the school network and that allowed uh that allowed everyone to play GTA 2 on, on, com on the computer and web design class. And eventually, eventually they, uh, the teacher, the teacher, like, came over and saw all these, these kids, including me, playing GTA 2 on the computer. And he was like, what is this? And I said, it's a web design program. It's like this 3D interface. And he, he just nodded and was like, oh, cool. And he went back to his seat. <laughs> and <laughs> thinking about that as an adult, I'm like, I don't actually know what happened there. Was this guy just like, did this guy just not care? <laughs> did this guy just not care so much? Because <laughs> I don't understand how that possibly could have fooled him. I don't... <laughs> I don't get I don't get how how anyone even like the most technologically inept adult which he certainly was the web design teacher was the most technologically adept person <laughs> in the whole school uh but god I just I just don't know I just don't know <laughs> what what was up there
he he the web design teacher i i distinctly remember the web design teacher called me up to his desk one day and he said i'm having a problem with my computer and i was like oh what's 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 wrong and this was in middle school so i was i was a middle schooler remember remember this i'm a middle schooler this is a grown like 50 something year old man calling me up <laughs> to the desk and he's like I'm having problems with my computer here and I go over and he's got one of those he's got one of those uh, <laughs> it's on his screen he's on a web page and there's one of these uh, fake banner ads that looks like an error message and it says his computer's got a virus and he has to click here in order to <laughs> in order to scan for the viruses and he's like I have a virus, and I keep clicking here to scan for it, but it keeps bringing me to another another page. It's not working. I keep <laughs> I keep trying to click, and it keeps bringing me to a to another page instead of scanning for viruses. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh no, that's that's not a real message. That's an ad." And it took him so long to believe what I was saying. <laughs> And this is the web design teacher. Uh, yeah, so... Oh, <laughs> uh, this guy. This guy, I felt, I felt very, I felt bad for this guy. He was, he seemed, he seemed sad, like, all the time. I, 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 uh... <laughs> he just didn't seem like he was in a place that he wanted to be in life you know he asked for your help why wouldn't he believe you uh I don't know <laughs> I don't know I, I, I don't I don't know he did eventually believe me he had a lot of questions like that he uh he I don't know he had, he had used to teach something else I don't know why he was teaching web design. I think I think they needed someone, like, I think the faculty had this great idea to make this web design class, and they needed someone to teach it, and he volunteered, and so he was teaching web design now, <laughs> even though he could barely use a computer. He had like a a little book to teach us HTML, but he very clearly like didn't understand HTML himself. Luckily, I did, so I helped him out a lot in that <laughs> class. Like, <laughs> I helped him out a bunch. I don't remember what his name was. I hope I hope the rest of his life went okay. He was, you know, I had a lot of teachers that I thought that I thought were probably bad people, but he was not one of them. I thought he was probably a good person. He was just sad. That was really common. I wonder if there's some government push to require schools to have computer classes. Yeah, it might have been something like that. It might have... I, I, I don't know. I don't know enough about the... the school system at that time. Or any time. My school only had typing classes. Yeah. I remember there was typing classes... Typing classes, like, started being a thing either, like, late into my elementary school teaching or, I mean, cl classes or, uh, or early into middle school. I remember the school I was at got these, like, the, the Apple computers with where the screen was just green. Like, it could only display green. <laughs> like, it wasn't, it wasn't black and white. It was, it was green and black. It was stark green and black. These old Apple computers. <laughs> they would they you could type on them and you could play Oregon Trail, and that was about it. Oh yeah, the accelerated reader program. <laughs> those, those are the things that you could do on these on these computers. Legit floppy disks. Typing classes in elementary was the extent of my computer experience. Legit floppy disks that were actually floppy. Oh, yeah. Man, I, uh... 
I didn't. <laughs> when I was growing up, we had we had the uh, the non floppy floppy disks, and I remember the first time I encountered one of the actually floppy floppy disks. I was like, oh dang. <laughs> I can't believe I understand now why they're called floppy disks. This one's super floppy. This is like a st an incredibly floppy disk right here. Ah, <laughs> uh, floppies. Don't don't copy them. You don't you, you don't want to copy those floppies. Floppy disks are floppy. Yeah, there was like there's the smaller floppy disk that I think more, most more people are familiar with. Before that, there were much bigger floppy disks that were much floppier. They were extremely floppy. <laughs> I just thought they were squares. Yeah, there's like when you picture a floppy disk in your head, if you can even picture a floppy disk, I imagine there's people watching the uh no, I, you know, I think I, floppy disks are probably something that, that, uh, that, like, teens are vaguely aware of. <laughs> like, when I was growing up, I knew, I knew about, like, like, records, and I knew about tube computers, even though, <laughs> even though I never encountered a tube computer in my entire life. But yeah, the uh, floppies. Just picture the Emma's word save icon. Yeah, it's that. There were those, but then there were much bigger ones. There were ones that were like twice as big as that, and those were really floppy. Those were super duper floppy. Like you, if you would hold it in a quarter and just kind of wave it around, it would, it would just, it would just go all over the place. You know, it was, it was super duper floppy. I'm totally gonna take a selfie with one tomorrow. Yeah, I got a bunch of. I got really into old computers at one point, and I've got this huge tower. You can see it in uh, uh, Nick Goes to Cyberspace. It's the one with a turbo button. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, that one takes the huge floppies. That one. <laughs> that one takes the very large floppies. <laughs> I have like the gigantic actual floppy disks. Yeah, I got. I have. I have a box of those somewhere. I can't imagine they still read. That computer doesn't work anymore, which makes me very sad. I had this. That computer ran Windows three, not Windows three point one, Windows three point zero, and it had this cool game on it that was, like you would take you would fly a plane. And you would fly it off a, a ship, and then I don't remember what you would do after that, because most of the time I would fall into the water. But I went to play that game again, and the computer wouldn't start up, and I tried fixing it, and I just made it worse. <laughs> I just totally, totally donked out the computer, and I have no idea how I could possibly repair it. Like, I did something so that the computer no longer even recognizes it has RAM. Like, the RAM is fine. It's just I did something to buy us so that the, so that the RAM is invisible now. Very bad job fixing it. I remember playing an old game involving a cat and a mouse. The goal was to commit murder or something. Yes, I also played that game. I know exactly what game you're talking about. 100%. <laughs> I too played that game. That was that was back when you could play There was like <laughs> there was like 20 games in the world you could get for your computer at that time. There's like 20 20 of them. Wow, the cat mouse cheese game. Oh no, sorry, I just had a massive brain flashback. <laughs> yep. Uh, I wanna, I wanna play some of those old games again. I got, I got like an old. Uh, 
uh, clamshell indigo blue me- uh, iBook or whatever it was called. I think it was called the iBook specifically to play Mac OS like 7 through 9 games. But the cat the cat game is before that, I'm pretty sure. The cat game is <laughs> cat game is very much before that. The blue clam just like me. Yeah. I never had one of them. I I had the iMac. I had the blue iMac. Uh, I didn't have the laptop, though. I still have the blue iMac, but it's a little cumbersome (laughs) to to keep around in the office for for playing those old games. So I I got the, uh, I bought a blue clamshell off eBay. Plus the uh, the disk drive had stopped working on my iMac, the, uh, the CD drive. I guess I could load stuff on it via zip disk. <laughs> I still have some zip disks somewhere. There's no way those zip disks work. The zip disks would usually like those zip disks, man. Man, you put stuff on a zip disk and you're like, "All right. All right, as long as long as I keep this zip disk in this glass case and there's no strong vibrations, then maybe the data will still be there when I check in a week. <laughs> For any of you not familiar, there was this thing after floppies. It was never super popular, but uh, we had one because my mom was a typesetter, so I had to deal with like a lot of large documents. And before CD burners became popular, there was a thing called zip disks. <laughs> it looked It looked like a really... A real thick floppy. Just a super thick floppy. Just a very thick floppy. And instead of holding, like, one and a half megabytes, like a floppy disk could, it would hold a hundred megabytes. I'm pretty sure there was also, like, super zip disks or something that could hold 250 megabytes. So there's the there was the hundred megabyte zip disks, which was incredible at the time, and then the two hundred fifty megabyte zip disks, which was unbelievable. The problem was the zip disks were just they were just the data would just go away. It would just, <laughs> the data was just gone. Sometimes you would take the zip disk, you would load some stuff onto the zip disk, and then you would take it out of your drive and you'd put it in another drive, and the the data is just gone. It's just it's just not there anymore. <laughs> Why? I don't know. You'd have to reformat the whole disk to get it to work again and then hope that it would save some data for a little bit longer. It went too fast. Yeah. It was was too much... too speedy. Whereas old floppies from the 1990s still have their data perfectly preserved. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of those old floppies still completely perfect. I remember paying $50 for a 1 gigabyte flash drive and being incredibly happy with my purchase. Yeah. Yeah, old technology, man. Let me tell you. Old. <laughs> the only time I burned disc was for homebrew for my PS2. Yeah, I had a, a, a lot of... I got very lucky on being like on the the cutting edge of home technology a lot growing up cuz my mom my mom did typesetting so I don't even know if that's like a job anymore but if you wanted to get like menus for your restaurant printed or if you wanted to self publish a book what you had to do is you had to go to a local printer <laughs> and 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 let them know what you wanted and then the typesetter would put it all together so my mom did that. My mom did typesetting. So we had a lot of computer stuff that a lot of other families didn't have because it was like her job. We call it graphic design now. 
graphic design was always was different. So graphic design existed at the time still. Typesetting was different because it was it wasn't so much about the design aspect. It was basically a layout thing. Uh, because especially at this point, like you couldn't like these these printers required a, a very specific format. <laughs> to get stuff printed like you you had to you had to use you had to use specific types of programs that were compatible with these printers and stuff had to be lay, laid out in a certain way it was it was a lot of a lot of stuff like that rather than the the graphic design element the graphic design stuff was usually, like, things that were done separately. So, like, my mom would get graphic design elements to put in the documents. So it was a lot of layout and a lot of uh, uh, typing work. Taking, like, physical copies and, and typing it up. Did you have graphic design classes in school? Uh, yeah, my high school had, like, some computer graphics class or something, I think. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what it was. I know I also had something like that in uh, when I went to college. But I went to a technical school, so that wasn't super surprising. Printers used to be torture devices. I don't understand those printers. That I went, <laughs> I went with my mom to these print shops. These, some of these print shops still exist. And boy, some of these printers are nonsense. <laughs> Just... There's these huge things, these massive, these gigantic lumbering machines used to print out some menus and stuff. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's very funny thinking about it now. Imagining, like, <laughs> oh, I gotta, gotta get a menu for a restaurant printed. And, like, a machine larger than a man, you <laughs> is used to to print these menus out. <laughs> I have no idea if that's still the case, if those things are still used. I like to imagine that they still are, that these, <laughs> these printers bigger than people are still being used. Now we have gigantic lumbering machines to print the print 3D models of anime girls. Oh, God. Yeah, th uh, 3D printers definitely feel like one of those technologies that, like, 20 years from now, the new versions are going to be so different <laughs> that you're going to look back at, at today's 3D printers as, like, Jesus, what, what, were, what were those things? I remember those home printers you needed a specific printer paper for. The type that was yellow and green and had those holes in the side. Oh yeah, the perforated papers. I mean, how else is the printer going to grab onto those little papers, you know? I used to work at a photo lab. My hatred of printers is ingrained in my soul now. Yeah, I imagine once you work behind the scenes with anything long enough, you either develop a lifelong fondness or hatred of it. <laughs> I still use ink cartridges. I think I think most people... Don't most people still use ink cartridges? Like, I know... I always used laser printers growing up because my mom needed, you know, to have high quality proofs to send to uh, the printers. Anyway, that's it for tonight. It was, it was a, uh, it was a stream. Certainly, <laughs> I've enjoyed this nostalgic look. Back into the world of printers. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow playing uh, playing Eternal Darkness on the GameCube.
until then, I hope you have a great night. Just a perfect night. A wonderful, magnificent night. Or morning, if it's morning. Where you are. Afternoon, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. Have a really good one. Farewell, everyone. I love you all.